Hey everyone, it's Desiree. I hope everyone is enjoying their day so far. I am back with another uh, video uh, showcasing the artsy. I'm using 12 by 12 papers for the tall and skinny journal um, and then also pulling in six by six. So we're making our own ephemera. I've shown you how to pull a master board in. Again, everything does not have to be matchy matchy. Um, but if that is how you create, by all means, stick with the pattern papers. Um, have fun. That's, that's what this is all about. So again, I just turned on the camera and we are going to create a couple different pieces of ephemera. I'm sure I'm missing stuff from my desk, so I'll have to step away um, to grab them. I will make sure I have my, um, oh, vintage photo, because yes, that is definitely a part of it. Now, we're going to focus on making journaling cards. Uh, not so much tags yet. Um, and I'm pulling in some die cut pieces that I did off, off camera. So I used these two dies. These are gum leaves, uh, two and four by Paper Rose. So you die cut the base and then you die cut the top layers. So I used black cardstock for the base and then I chose one of the six by six pattern papers or even the 12 by 12 that had all of that beautiful color that was just blocked onto it and I used that there. And then I paper pieced these inside pieces onto the black base and also kept you know, these outline pieces, because they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, great pieces of ephemera to accent a page or a corner or something like that. So I'm not sure if we'll be cutting, die cutting more of these. Um, I may off camera, but I'll show you what we're going to do. Again, here are the journals that we're working with. Um, I'm really enjoying the size. We did this split. We have a tuck up here and we have a pocket down here. Um, we also did, and I'm not sure which one it's in there, um, but I am really enjoying the 12 by 12, the elongated skinny journal style. We did a, the belly band here. Love that belly band. Um, when it comes to this. And again, added some outside ephemera. Again, if you like to stick with the paper collection, then please do. Um, I love to pull in different items and so forth. And then here, I don't think, yeah, we did another split. We even added a die cut here for this pocket. And I do want to make more pockets, but that's going to be in another video. So what I'm going to focus on today are these here. So we have two, <clears throat> excuse me, we have two sheets of these. This is the pattern on the other side. And I think, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies are in full gear. <clears throat> when it comes to this time. So I'll be drinking a lot of water. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to use one page and cut these down. And then I'm just going to cut one from this. So I'm going to make that decision now. <clears throat> And it's going to be this one. Because I do like the print on the other side. 
and I'm not worried if this is straight or not because we are going to trim these down just a little bit. So these are basically four by four in size, which would certainly, you know, it's, it's just fitting in there. But if I go to where a pocket is, I really should mark the page. What do you think? We don't have to like, you know, flip through this forever and a day. I think it's in this one. I want to get to the one that's to the front and there it is. But you can see if I use this pocket, it, it's not going to fit. So I need to trim them down. Um, even if I put it in the tuck, you can see it, it's just going to, you know, fold over. And I don't want that to happen. So we're going to see a couple different ways that I'm going to be using these throughout the journals. But what I want to do first is get them trimmed down. So I am going to use my scissors first because then I can pull out my smaller trimmer instead of pulling out the real large one it's heavy and I just don't feel like pulling it out because again we are going to trim these down and you're going to see a different way that I'm going to create the um the journal cards and last two cuts here we go okay so if you notice I have 10 of these And I'm grabbing some black cardstock, and it's heavyweight. It's 110 pound. So I'm going to go through these Okay. Oh, look at that. Five and five. <laughs> okay. These are going to be, they're all going to be journal cards, but five of them are going to be flip journal cards. You'll see what I mean. So let's do the cutting down first. I think three and a half is a good size. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this and just guide, you know, I think I'm going to do three inches. Let's do three and a quarter first. And I don't want to lose this, this beautiful detail. So I'm just going to be doing a lot of trimming and let's see, what does this is? So this is just over three and if I pull this back in, that fits nicely if that's what we're looking for. So this is pretty much, I'm going to shoot for between three and three and a quarter. Now this one might be tough, but that's okay. Because, and I need to make sure, because I did use my scissors, I need to make sure that these are on a straight edge. Or these have a straight edge. Get that lined up. 
and let's see where this goes if I get this. All right, so this one's going to be about three and a half, but I can take a little bit more off that. So this is pretty much how I craft. One, I, I do talk to myself. And because I've cut part of this off here, I'm okay cutting this off. Because to me, or just getting to that point, to me, that's what makes it look even. If I left that, all that white there, it would look off center to me. And I know I'm saying centered, uh, which is odd for me. But because of what we're doing with this, I do want to have some, you know, this side's equaling that side. I, I don't know if that makes any sense. And I'm determining what's the top and what's the bottom first. And then that's where I'm trimming to get that flat edge so that I can trim this and say, okay, let's go here. And we're going to take a little bit more off. And now I'm going to come over to here. Because I'm not worried about the height. It's the width that we want to make sure that we're hitting that mark. Like this is three and three quarters. I think that's going to be okay. But... <clears throat> We're, we're going to make two piles here. One are the ones that are three to three and a quarter. These are a little bit thicker. All right, again, looking at what's the top, what's the bottom. And then just making the determination of that cut. So that's going to go there as well. So I have two of these. That just means that one's, this is the duplicate one that we have. And that just means I need to make sure that I have one in one journal and one put in the other. Okay, let's see. Because of the drips, we're going to make sure that that's our bottom. So I'm really letting the design just tell me, okay, this is the way that we want this to be cut. And then I am going to check the measurement. So anything over three and a quarter, we're putting here. Now, if I end up with more of those, we're going to have to rethink some things. But I don't think... I just don't think we're going to have that problem. But you never know. Again, so I'm determining what's my what's top, what's bottom, cutting that first, then going to that side, then doing the top, and then turning it over and saying, okay, this is what we're doing here. I just, I love these prints. So vibrant, so... They are just absolutely gorgeous. And our last one. And I think this is a duplicate too. Maybe? I don't know. Okay. 
Okay. So before I remove my trimmer, so here I have one, two, three, four. And then this should be six. Okay, so I'm going to take this one. Since this one's my duplicate, I'm going to take this one and really trim down her size. Let's see. And I think it, yeah, it still looks good. Okay, so now we have that one up there. Now, again, I did not take notice of the measurement. I had a roundabout knowledge of the measurement. So three and a quarter to three, three and a half or more. So what I want to do is I want to get these onto black cardstock or, and it's just the smaller ones right now. I just want to get these on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around so that I know that this one goes with this piece. Again, I'm not looking for that perfect border. And again, I'm going to get that set into place and I'm just going to cut straight up. And again, I don't want to add too much to these because I do want them to fit in in these pockets. Now, and that's about the size that the pockets are going to be when it comes to these pieces. Now, you can certainly um, take your pieces, place a mark, and then trim them by all means, I know I get a lot of questions. How can you do that? How can you cut that? And again, I'm just okay with the difference of the borders. Because again, it, it's a journal. You know, you can have fun with it. You can add all the different things that you want to add to it. Definitely for when I'm creating a journal, as others have said, I embrace the imperfections. I embrace the awkwardness. Now I am going to look at these because if I have to trim these down more than I'm going to do that because I want them to stay in the three quarter arena and that size. So if I look at this one, I am going to have to trim this down just a small amount on each side. And I will do it to each of the sides. Because now if I put this back, I'm not touching the top or the bottom, just the side. When I trim this down, it's going to be exactly where I want it to be. So that one's cool. Let's look at this one. Now, if again, if you're someone too that also likes to, to measure out your pieces, that's okay too. For me, when it comes to measuring, there are things that I will measure. Absolutely. 
I'm not saying I never measure things out. Um, but for me, measuring takes time. <laughs> and I do, I do refer to myself as, um, the lazy crafter. You know, I just kind of go with it when it comes to this. Again, there are things that I do create, and you all have seen them. You know, the scrapbook albums. Those, you know, you get, you have to be precise with those. You've got to make sure that your measurements are there. Just a little bit on each side for this one. But if I can avoid it, I will. Absolutely. All right, so we have those. Now, for these here, I am not worried about the size of them. I am okay if these are the size that they are. And you will see why. Because once I have these cut, we are going to start putting these into the journal. Now, what I am going to do though, so that I don't have to do yoga with my hands, I'm going to trim that down to four. Yes, we do. So you can see I'm just eyeballing the border. And then I'm just taking my long shears. This does go better with long shears because you can either do it in one cut or two cuts. I am also making sure that I keep the black mat to each of these pieces. Oh, that one's just perfect right there. Um, because they are being cut to each of these panels. And here's our last one. Okay that out of my way and we are going to focus on these first well actually no we are going to grab my glue I'm going to get these adhered unclog Just going to get these adhered onto their mats. We are going to do something on the back because it is black cardstock. Um, you could leave some of them with the black background so that who, if your recipient has a white gel pen or maybe that's something that you add if this is a gift or if you're selling them. Um, that would be fun to add that. I just 
something a little different, um, but we're going to add just something to the back. Now, another reason you don't have to add anything really to them because the black has a great background for photos. So here they could just write a little bit here and then just add a photo to the back. That could be your photo mat uh, right there. So again, don't, don't be shy of using, you know, your, your black card stocks. They add just wonderful dimension and looks. I mean, they're just making this paper pop because of all of the beautiful, beautiful, vibrant colors that it has. And I do apologize when I'm throwing my glue bottle down. I'm sure it is shaking my camera gently. Again, things go across the room. I'm just saying. It, 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 it's, it, outside, and there we go, I just knocked that over. Outside of this, I did it again. Oh my goodness, I'm dangerous. Outside of this viewing area, yeah, it's a beautiful thing, but lots of stuff is just all over the place. All right, I'm going to set those there and let them dry. I'm going to pull in my first one, and I want to make sure that I take care of this one first. And I want to make sure that one sits on that journal because I don't want to duplicate these. Okay, so this one here has these awesome flips. I just absolutely love them. And when it comes to this paper, when it's really colorful, there's something that's black and white on the other side, which I think is cool. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to set this down onto this panel. And I'm just gonna put a line down. I'm gonna fill it in. And just trying to remember, okay, this is where I have to put that. And I'm gonna take this and I'm going to set this down. Get this adhered in place. And I want to hold that because these papers do have a, uh, a slickness to them. Then I'm going to take this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue onto the other side. And I'm going to turn my journal because now I'm going to place this down as if I matted it like the journal cards. And we're going to turn this over and we are going to press and just make sure that this gets adhered. So what we've done is we've added to the flip. Now, what I'll also do too is I always go through my journals at the very end and I look at all the corners and, and everything and just, you know, put tacking glue down in place there. So what we've done is we've created a journal spot here or a place for a photo because I always have lots of coffee dyed papers or plain papers for people to journal on. And then when we turn this over, we have this design here. And again, we can add a photo here or here or here. So it's kind of adding to the, um, to the flips. So now that I have this flip here, I'm going to now look through these. I want that to be a flip. I want this one to be here. 
I want that one to be there. So I'm going to put three flips in here because I don't think I have these pieces in the other journal. So here's where the flips are going to go for the most part. I may not use all of them. And if I don't, that's okay, because then I'll just turn them into these journal cards. Now here, we can have a lot of fun. Now we have this here. And see, we have this strip. So let's have some fun here. I am going to score this. So see, I do keep these pieces. Just saying. And we're going to score. And we're going to bend. And I'm going to bend this back and forth because this is heavyweight cardstock. She's really got to, we've really got to break in those fibers. Okay. So I I'm going to add glue to this end here. And I'm going to add it to this here. I want to make sure that this still bends. So I am going to fold that over. So you don't when you create this type of hinge, you don't want to cover up the score line. You want to put this square right just up to the square uh, to the score line. And you want to fold this over to make sure that it's it's going to continue to bend and fold. And again, I'm going to add my glue again because now this is going to go up here yep up here so again I'm going right up to that score line pressing down and I'm folding this over and we'll do something with this to give it some interest and then this is now going to sit here. I'm going to get my glue. So I want that splash of color when this turns. All right, so now we've create we've got this flip out. When it goes like this, we can also flip it out this way. Again, a photo can go in here, but we're going to put something here. Now, the beauty of it since we're putting some of these flips in here, we can pull you know, another one of these from here and say, okay, I want to put this one here so that you've got your double flip if you want, but we're going to do something else there. So now we've created that and we'll be able to put something there as well. And then here's another one. So here we've got the black and white. Here's the color. I really want to focus in on this one, but we can continue the flip to come out. 
But I really also do like to take this and to set this down. Now again, we can grab a pencil. I'm gonna draw a line. And just because it's black, you can still see the pencil line. I don't know if we can on camera. And I'm gonna add my glue to that area only. And then I'm gonna place this down. And then I'm gonna place this down onto the map. And again photo you can journal down here we can put a piece of paper on top of that but I do just love the way that the the flips are getting larger I'm gonna leave that one alone I think I'm going to leave this one alone I've got a belly band there And I think I'm just going to add one more here. So I'm going to take one from the other journal. And I think I'm going to take this color for one. Color, color, color. Yeah. So we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to take this down. And I really want this one to come down. So we're going to have that go like that. I'll draw my line again, add my glue, get that set, and I'm just eyeballing here to make sure, okay, is that, does that look even, and then pressing down and then adding glue onto our card. There we go. And I really like those. I think it's different, gives you a different look because these papers are just different. They're absolutely, they're just gorgeous, 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 absolutely in love, in love. So let's just get these two in. That's a card. So we're going to have more cards. And then I just need to make sure. So this is just going to have one flip. So let's look at the center. Where's, there's my center. And that I think will look great as a flip. And what's great with this is we can do this. And I think, yeah, I want that here. So I'm going to take that there. I'm going to turn this. And hopefully I'm straight, which I'm not. I'm going to make my line here. Add my glue. And 
we're going to get this down. So I'm not taking it completely up to the edge. Because once we flip this over, now this is going to take over. And there we go. So we have that flip coming out of the center. All right. And then the cards, I'm going to show you that in the next video that comes out on how we can, so we've made flips. All right. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do to the back sides of those as well. And then that's what we're going to be doing to the back sides of these also. All right. So I hope I gave you an idea. It's kind of like, you know, the concept of a scrapbook album with the flips. I, I'm really <clears throat> liking the combination of these two worlds coming together. Again, it's something that we can push. It's something to see, okay, how far can I push this without making it too odd? And, and, and I have yet to find that line as I'm creating. What is too odd? I mean, there's no, there's really no definition um, when it comes to that. You know, there's not one person that can say, yes, that's art and that's not art. And I think pushing something to see how, how much we can get or how odd we can make it is, is kind of the same, but I am loving the concept of a scrapbook album concept, the flips and the interaction within those pages being combined with a journal concept. Um, and when I, when I talk about journals, it's the sewn signature journal, the, I call mine the vintage style. And I say that, you know, that vintage style in quotes journal, um, when it comes to these. So again, everybody looks at everything differently and that's the beauty of our creative paper crafting world. So again, take some of these ideas. You can add flips. Um, you can add them to smaller pieces to make them larger, to have them keep coming out and just have fun with the process. Um, I will link down again to this pattern paper. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. And what I do like about the pattern paper collect, the paper rose, pattern paper collections and a lot of them are this way too I think Stamperia does the same thing you know they're 12 by 12 you're only getting like 10 sheets 10 or 12 sheets to me that's perfect because with that I'm able to get two journals um, now these are tall journals if they were smaller you'd be able to get maybe three possibly four um, but you don't have all of those papers to choose from. You can use a small amount to create a journal and still get the effect. I do find that when it comes to a scrapbook album, you kind of need more papers because you're doing a lot of layering, you're doing a lot of matting and, and all of that. So it's just something to think about when it comes to this as I continue to gap horrendously. Yeah, that's what I do. Yes, welcome back. Um, but I'll have this paper uh, collection linked down below. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below as well. I just want to take a moment and say still thank you to everybody. You guys are still emailing me and messaging me um, your well wishes and thank you. Just, just so much. I am enjoying reading them and I am getting better 
we are we are getting there I'm still taking my time yes um, we can't go backwards we always want to move forward so thank you to everybody um, welcome for those of you that have been here for a while to you I also say thank you and for those of you that just stopped by because you were curious about what I was gabbing at welcome as well and thank you for stopping by and if you haven't yet I'd love for you to subscribe hit that thumbs up and make sure you ring the bell so that you can see this series continue and remember I've also started another series which that one's going to be interesting I have no idea if that one's going to work um, featuring Scrappy Tails because it's for Sabrina um, so that one should be fun all right enjoy the process enjoy having fun creating enjoy having fun creating your art because that is what you are creating it's art so enjoy no stress no frustration just have fun just have fun with it paper has two signs I will always say never throw it away walk away from it come back with new eyes and I think you'll be amazed if you keep going forward with what you will create and how it will look okay but most of all remember guys always be creative and I will talk to you in the next one until then take care and enjoy talk soon